Crossings is a tool that we use to understand Christianity. It's a lens, a way of understanding life. A really dynamic, vibrant community it began as typewritten pages being handed around a university. All of my imperfections being smart for generosity. It's become such a way of life for me. It really is good, and it is something new. The Crossings Conference is intense, and that's a very vague term. But by that I mean that it's going to both engage your brain, and which is an important part of our faith, but also it will touch matters of the heart. You know, it's not like those are separate things, but it's going to make you think deeply, and it will make you sit in your chair for a long time while you think deeply, and there's really no other way to do it. It's wonderful. But uh, what I've been amazed at by the conference is that there are such a range of, uh, of speakers. So we'll get intentionally people who are going to confront and perhaps question this method that we were talking about, the crossings method, and push the limits of it. We will intentionally uh, find speakers from a wide range of, uh, of movements, some who are very familiar with doing this sort of theology, some who are not, and we will see how how we can make things work. I first heard about crossings uh, probably when I was in college. I, I went to Valparaiso University, which seems to be one of the focal points that crossings has across the country. Um, and so some of my professors were writing in it. I have a brother-in-law who was writing for it. And uh, I first became aware of it that way. I didn't really start using it though until much later, probably even after seminary when I started using the text studies as I was working on sermons, or I would, actually probably even more so, I got in by doing Thursday theology. I have been using crossings very frequently for sermon preparation, for both the, the text studies that get emailed out to me, or I sometimes hunt up online. Uh, I, I use them as I am going through the weekly work of confronting a text and trying to find what, what God is saying to a uh, to, to my congregation now as it encounters the scripture. So I, I've been using that on a regular basis. I've also used Thursday's theology uh, when that comes out too. Um, though I, I find myself as often as not scanning the archives, just going through the old stuff too. Crossings is vitally important because it seems to fill what I sense to be a gap. In my denomination, we, uh, which is the ELCA, we, we have many who are deeply interested in doing good work, which is wonderful. We have a huge social justice concern. In other denominations, it seems we have a deep concern for all the things of God, but we don't quite see how they mesh. And Crossings is that point of meshing. It reminds us that this gospel of Jesus Christ is the grounding thing, but then it is also trying to actively engage the concerns of the world as it talks about this. And so I find this method, is, is, it's almost like the missing link that connects life, justice, to what God is doing and saying in the death and resurrection of Jesus.